Hey guys, Ty Lord here with my complete shark movie collection. Uh, second time I've done this video. The first time it took a half hour and I sat there and, and babbled on about every single movie and I was all excited and I was slurring all my words together like a, a buffoon. It just went on way too long. So I'm just going to run through these shark movies. I might throw a little uh, nugget of information about one or two or 70 of them but i'm just going to try to run through this fast uh, this is my complete shark movie collection uh, both both good classics and the garbage shark movies there and believe me there are a lot um okay so we'll start off with the good ones check it out jaws on laser disc my favorite movie of all time very nice uh, laser disc I got for cheap at Rasputin's. And here we have Jaws on VHS. It's just like the one from my childhood. Only I don't think I have that one anymore. Uh, Jaws, the 30th anniversary on uh, DVD. Comes with a little booklet with some liter literature and illustrations. Oh man. And here's my Jaws uh, laser disc with a digital copy uh, ultraviolet uh, Blu-ray right there. I haven't opened it yet. Uh, neato stuff right there. And then on to the wonderful sequels. I place these above any other shark movie. Um, um, love the sequels, especially uh, Jaws 2 here on VHS. Directed by Gino Schwark. I love this movie. It, it holds a candle to the first one as far as I'm concerned. Uh, uh, really action-packed, like, teen slasher meets uh, Jaws. Roy Scheider's greatest performance. I, I, if I do say so myself, Jaws 2 on um, DVD. Unfortunately, when it went to DVD, the nice old artwork, I think that artist's name was Mick McGinty that did these. He passed away. He also did the Street Fighter artwork for Sega Genesis and Super Nintendo. A lot of movies love his artwork, but kind of disappointing to see the, the new crappy... Oh, it's not that it's crappy, it's just nothing special artwork of uh, the DVDs. Jaws 2 has some good features, has some deleted scenes, and... Uh, yeah, very good stuff. Uh, making of. Very good stuff. And then on to Jaws 3. Nice cover art again. Uh, probably my least favorite Jaws, but it's one of my favorite movies. Um, as corny and campy as it is, I love this movie. I love all the actors in it. I love all the characters. Love the setting. It's in SeaWorld. Directed by Joe Alves, that uh, was second unit director on the first one, and, and like a uh, was he an edit? No, he was a. Uh, he I know he worked on on the previous Jaws movies. Um, that's the only movie he ever directed, and then he once again kind of a lackluster cover on Blu-ray, but nothing's wrong with it. it. Just looks like it has like steals from the movie with like a. A shark photoshopped onto it and this one's the worst offense as far as covers go I love the movie though a lot of people knock the movie I, I, I the movie's fantastic one of my childhood favorites uh, Jaws the Revenge VHS don't care for this cover art it does have a nice shot of the uh, mechanical shark and uh, but yeah I don't have a, a nice copy of Jaws the Revenge with the original uh, Mick McGinty artwork, but love this Joseph, Joseph Joseph Sargent's a fantastic director. People can say what they want about this, but I'll defend it to my grave. Uh, has flaws, of course, but uh, but nice pace movie, nice story. Uh, uh, love Jaws the Revenge, and then here's another crappy. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't know what happened to my original Jaws the Revenge with a nice artwork, but here's that same crappy cover. No special features. I wish there was a, 
I wish there was a, a special Blu-ray release of this with extras, like director commentary. Uh, Gino Schwark, uh, pardon me, um, Joseph Sargent is dead, so I don't know if we'll ever get a director commentary, but I would like some behind the scenes or some sort of commentary, deleted scenes maybe, because there's a lot of interesting uh, um, stunts in, in, um, in this movie. Um, okay, on to the... Uh, and these are all just random. I had them all organized last time and I just threw them all back in here. Um, probably one of the best uh, shark movies other than Jaws, uh, Deep Blue Sea with Thomas Jane, Samuel L. Jackson, and LL Cool J. This really attractive uh, English woman right here. Um, I don't know if she is in real life, but she has an accent in this. That that old guy, what's his name? Stellan Starsgard is in here. Um, yeah, cool, cool uh, deep sea uh, sci-fi adventure thriller. Cool stuff. Very good climax at the end. Kind of reminds me of some way like a, a shark from Jaws would be killed. A big epic finale in this. And then I have a PAL region uh, version of that. And then I, this one I've never opened and I've never seen part two. This is um, Deep Blue Sea 1 and 2. I need to watch part two, but I never watched it yet. Here's some of the... Uh, some old classics. Uh, Deep Blood by Joe Diamato, an Italian shark movie. Uh, like three uh, young uh, teenagers are hunting the shark. Um, uh, Monster Shark. Uh, this one, uh, it's based on story by L Luigi Cosi. Uh, that's the director of Star Crash and Her Hercules with Lou Ferrigno. I like him. Um, directed by uh, L Limberto. So he's done a lot of good uh, 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 cheesy Italian movies I like. Um, Kill Shark. This one's awful. I think it was like a made-for-TV movie in the 70s. It is horrible. I can't believe I said that. Uh, you don't hear me say too many bad things about movies. Um, uh, that one didn't do it for me at all. Uh, a pre-Jaws movie here, Shark with Burt Reynolds. A really fun adventure. Uh, kind of a romance adventure. Um action movie from the, it might be the 60s even uh, he meets a lady and she kind of is playing him and there's some double crossing going on looking for treasure in the ocean uh, uh, there's sharks down in the water there's a lot of old school scuba diving which was kind of a big thing back then like with thunderball uh, underwater footage there's some scary shark scenes where sharks are eating people i heard someone got, i don't know if it's just a rumor or an urban myth but someone one of the stuntmen got killed by a shark in this, but I don't know if it's true or not, but it, it looks like these guys are getting killed underwater by sharks on the movie. Um, oh, uh, uh, Enzo G. Uh, Castellari. Is that how you say his name? The Last Shark. Total Jaws ripoff. I love it. It's really crappy. It's got James Franciscus and Vic Morrow, who lost his head in the Twilight Zone movie with the poor little kids during the making of that movie. Uh, James Franciscan, Vic Morrow, uh, great actors, kind of crappy movie, but I appreciate there's a big, giant, mechanical shark in this. This is a total Jaws ripoff. I think it was banned from the United States uh, because it resembled Jaws too much. I think even like in other countries like Spain, it was released in theaters as Jaws 3. It came out like in the late 70s or early 80s. <coughs> um... Enzo G. Castellari, the director. I like a lot of his movies. Um, I might have another one of his. Oh, yeah. How did I miss these? Yeah, here's another one. In Enzo G. Castellari. Right, uh, Enzo G. Castellari's The Shark Hunter. I bought all of these from a vendor at a convention I went to many years ago. Someone made up nice uh, artwork for them. And he printed out these DVDs because I don't think you can find some of these movies anywhere, like Last Shark and uh, The Shark Hunter. This is sort of an adventure movie. Um, Franco Nero's the star. 
a stud of a lot of old Italian movies. Um, even Enzo G. Castellari plays a thug or a bad guy in this. He kind of has good screen presence. He's kind of like a, a buff guy. Um, there's a lot of underwater fighting, a lot of shark attacks. Uh, this guy plays a shark hunter. I think he ha he has a troubled past, and, and it's an action movie. Now he lives like in um, in Mexico or some uh, Central American country, and he's a shark hunter. He gets involved with some sort of a treasure hunt, and the CIA and, and gangsters are in on it. And there's a lot of good um, action in this. I remember... When I was a kid, there was a cool scene where he's chasing a guy on a speedboat with his plane, and the, the chase goes on for quite a, a while. But I like this movie. I like, I like a lot of movies with, with Franco and Nero. Um, and then here's another movie kind of in the same vein with Treat Williams. Uh, it's a newer one called Shark, uh, Night of the Sharks. Kind of just an action-adventure movie featuring a lot of sharks. There's a big tiger shark that kills a few people. Um, I remember I really enjoyed this as a kid, but I haven't seen it in a while. I tried to put it in like 10 years ago, and it didn't really capture my attention, but I need to revisit this because this is one of my, my favorite shark movies as a young man because I couldn't find a lot of them. And here's another print of that. Uh, yeah, cool old Italian movie. And then what else do we got? A bunch of movies called Megalodon. Okay. So we got, okay, a good one. A high quality newer one. I think it's like a Chinese production. So there's a lot of money behind it. Uh, Meg. Uh, it was Jason Statham. Big uh, theatrical release. Um, high budget. Pretty entertaining. J Jason Statham's a cool leading male role. Like, tough action guy. Uh, um... I don't think he does too much kung fu in this, uh, but the uh, writer of this, um, John Alton, uh, I read his book. This is based on the book was fantastic. Like I was so looking forward to this movie. The movie kind of let me down a bit. It's high budget, but it seems kind of like like a high budget version of a sci-fi original. The book was amazing. Like I was just imagining the book felt like I was reading like Jurassic Park combined with Jaws. Like oh, oh man, this is going to be a fantastic movie. But the uh, the movie's okay. It, 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 I've seen way worse. I enjoyed it. I, it was good enough for me to buy it on Blu-ray for for four bucks. <laughs> okay, uh, Peter Benchley's Creature. Uh, this isn't really a shark. It's like a half shark, half man. It's a, a, um, attacking. Uh, it's is it set in the Caribbean somewhere? It's got Craig T. Nelson and Kim Cattrall. They're both looking really good. For, I don't, and they might have been younger than uh, Kim Cattrall's looking hot. Um, uh, Craig T. Nelson's in it. Uh, I, I re also read the novel of this by Peter Benchley. It was freaking amazing. In the novel, it wasn't a shark man. It was this, this man that was genetically modified by the Nazis to breathe underwater and kill. Like he had webbed hands. He was like a big buff guy. They got like a a bodybuilder or some kind of athlete and they transformed him into this creature that could swim underwater and he's like eight feet tall and he kind of reminded me his description kind of reminded me of tyrant from resident evil but he had like webbed hands and he had claws on there and he could just swim and he could take out sharks he could take out people um and then he, he uh, could go on land later on this one uh, is just a big shark man the same story pretty much but it's with a, a shark man it looks kind of like the King Shark off of the, the Super Hit, or what was that that DC movie that came out, or, or Street Sharks. It's like a big monster with like arms and legs. It's a shark. <coughs> anyway, this is a cool high budget. This is what, like a made for TV miniseries or a movie, and it was pretty good, high quality movie. Um, open. I'll we'll save that one for later. Oh man, this is starting to. Oh, here's another one, uh, sort of tied to Jaws, uh, 12 Days of Terror, and it's got, uh, who is in here? <coughs> I know uh, uh, John Reese davies is in here. He plays like a fisherman <coughs> or a shark hunter. This is sort of based on the events in New Jersey from 1916, the Sh Jersey Shore shark attacks that Jaws is loosely based on. 
this movie is an, is a film adaptation of that. It takes liberties, but it has a lot of all the same killings from the real story that happened in real life. The, the shark swims up the river and kills a, a kid or two, and then an adult, and it kills a couple of people out on the shore. And the tourist uh, uh, industry is booming, so the the uh, elected officials don't want to do anything. To, they just want to keep the money coming in, and they need to keep the money. So it's a similar story as Jaws, and it's a high quality. Uh, it might have been a made-for-TV movie, but it's high, high quality, and I enjoyed it. Uh, it's been a while since I've seen it, but good one. Here I go rambling on about these again. Um, shark, shark, uh, shark movie collection, a nice pack of uh, Toxic Shark. Shark in Venice, Malibu, Shark Attack, Shark Man, Shark Attack 1 through 3, and Shark Zone, which is Shark 4. Um, shark Attack 1 is pretty cool. It's got uh, Casper Van Dien and, and uh, Ernie Hudson. Shark Attack series was kind of like a, uh, the, the, after the Jaws series finished, like Shark Attack picked up, and it was sort of similar to Jaws, but even more corny. And Shark Attack 2, uh, I forgot who was in there. I know Shark Attack 2 was directed by David Wirth. He, he's one of my favorite uh, directors. And Shark Attack 3, Megalodon as well. And then uh, Shark Zone, I have a... So I have a, 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 um, a standalone, I know what you would call it... Uh, Shark Attack 3 Megalodon uh, by David Wirth. This is like an infamous infamous movie. Everyone loves it because it's so corny. It's got the the scenes with the uh, stock footage of a great white like breaching or going up to bite the baits and they just like um, Photoshop people onto it. Like a, a, everyone got a kick out of that. And it has that infamous line that the man tells the woman. Um, uh, um, <laughs> I don't want to repeat the line in case kids are watching. Um, and here's one. Uh, here's Shark Zone. That's part four of the series. Got that. Uh, this is a fun like action. I think it had to do with like uh, diamonds or something. It had it had a lot of action and a shark eating people. Um, and then Shark Attack in the Mediterranean. Uh, this is one of my favorites. It's got the Ralph Moeller, that big buff German bodybuilder guy. You probably seen him in in a cyborg, and he was the bad guy in Best of the Best Two, and he played Conan on the TV series, the Conan, the the Barbarian TV series. Um, he's like the star of this sort of like the Roy Scheider type character, and it has a lot of action. It has a lot of the the political uh, drama and action that was sort of in the Jaws novels that were not in the movie, like the crooked mayor or the sheriff. I think it might be in this is tied up with a mob or whatever. Um, what I remember, I enjoyed this. is set in Spain, I believe, around the Mediterranean somewhere. I'm thinking it was Spain. Uh, that's one of my favorites, though. And then, what else do we got? Um, Shark Night, which I got at the Dollar Tree a while back when it was actually a dollar. That's before this big craze of, of dollar store movies started. I got this a, several years, maybe five or more years ago at the Dollar Tree. For a buck, uh, Shark Night on Blu-ray. This is like a slasher movie. This is like Friday the Th Friday the Thirteenth meets Sharks. Um, I saw it at the show with my wife because not too many shark movies go to the theater. Um, yeah, so I got this uh, Shark Night on Blu-ray. Uh, what else do we got here? More things with called Megalodon. Yeah, here's here's Megalodon. This. Um, this is really low budget, like deep sea uh, thriller type movie. I think it's like under an oil rig. There's CGI sharks and and it takes itself seriously. It has pretty good acting. It's really low budget, um, but I can't really talk crap about this one like some of the other ones. Uh, here's another newer one I just got, but I haven't watched it yet called Megalodon. I don't know how many movies have this title. This one has Michael Madsen. It says a giant sized uh, horror show in the tradition of Jaws and um, Godzilla. So this might, I'm hoping this will be like more like, that. I, I was asking a lot, but I'm hoping this might be like the Meg uh, novel. I see it's it's fighting a battleship in the, in the Meg uh, novel, the shark was taking out like battleships and submarines and stuff. Um, and then we got a couple of, uh, 
quality ones before I get to the real crap. Open water. I'm not really into these type of shark movies, but this is good. It's high suspense. So these uh, people get uh, stranded out with their life preservers, like they fall off the boat. Or can't I can't remember the 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 boat leaves them and they're out there on their own and there's sharks out there. And I think this one's even better. The reef. This this one's really good. Like the boat is uh, gets gets uh, runs into coral. Like the tide's getting really low, so the bottom of the boat gets. Uh, I think uh, the coral sh shreds it and the boat ends up flipping over and then the tide rises again and there's sharks in there and the people are up on top of the bottom of the boat and they have to keep swimming underneath to get supplies and they don't know if they should swim away to go find help in, the, in some direction. They don't even know where they are or they don't, there's a big dilemma like whether they should stay on the boat and wait for someone and die there or go swim away and try to find help and die in the water from the sharks. But it's a good movie. Um, Oh my goodness. Okay. Here we have a swamp shark. Sort of like Jaws in the swamp. I think it's like Louisiana or something. There's this mutated shark. Like, I don't know if it was like toxic waste caused it or it was like some kind of science experiment. But it, this shark gets stuck uh, in, a, in a swamp. And Robert Davi is in here. He's one of my favorite actors. He plays the sheriff and he's kind of crooked. He might be like the, the Mayor Vaughn type character of this. Um, D.B. Sweeney and Christy Swanson are in it. <laughs> made for sci-fi. One of the better made for sci-fis, I think. And this one, Jeffrey Combs and William Forsyth and Hammerhead. It was in my other collection. It's called like Shark Man. This is like a hammerhead shark monster with arms and legs. It looks like street sharks once again. And I don't really remember much about this besides it kind of reminded me of Resident Evil. Like there's a mad scientist like a laboratory and these creatures. Um, it's been a while since I've seen that. Raging Sharks. It's been a while since I've seen this one. Uh, this is like a deep sea thriller type deal. I think it has aliens have something to do with these these sharks raging out um, <clears throat> bait uh, <clears throat> this is a good one I enjoy it uh, uh, a tsunami hits I think it's Australia or New Zealand it's this coastal town the the supermarket is flooded and people are trapped in the supermarket and giant sharks are in the supermarket okay here's a little collection it's got a uh, croc sea beast those are not sharks, but here's Shark Swarm with, what's his name? Uh, it's got Daryl Hannah, and it has a good cast. It's got uh, John Schneider from Dukes of Hazard. Let me get these off. It's got uh, Armand Asante. It's got uh, F. Murray Abraham. It's got a good cast, and it's really long. It, it is super long. Uh, 164 minutes. Um... It seemed like a mini series or something, like it was cut into a movie because it just went on and on. It's probably the I always wanted there to be a, a, a series based on the Jaws novels by Peter Benchley and Frank and Hank Searles. And this is probably the closest thing to it. It's just like a sort of like Jaws, but really drug on a long time and not as good as Jaws. Um and then there's more sharks than one. And yeah, there's a crooked mayor and all that. Um yeah, but I had to have that movie in my collection. Oh, man. Blue Demon. I remember I, this is one of the ones I enjoyed. It's about these uh, genetically modified sh uh, sharks that you could control with a computer. Like, they were sort of like robots, but they were real sharks. And somehow they got a mind of their own and they escaped. It's kind of a funny movie. And then uh, here's another Water Monsters pack. Uh, it's got uh, Anaconda, which is good. Um, black water. It looks like it has an alligator. I haven't seen that. Yeah, and then uh, what's a she creature? Haven't seen that. This is the one I wanted to talk about. I wish I had a standalone of this red water with a Lou Diamond Phillips. It's a really cool shark movie. It's about a bull shark that's way up a river. And it's sort of an action movie, like Lou Diamond Phillips. I forget if he's a cop or a ranger, and he runs into these uh, thugs or mercenaries, and it's sort of like an action movie. But then there's like a shark in the mix that's, that's picking off people. 
but I really highly enjoy uh, Red Water with Lou Diamond Phillips. Probably one of my favorite non-Jaws uh, shark movies. Seems a lot higher budget, higher quality than the usual ones I watch. So that could just me be me. Here's a couple of Dollar Tree pickups, and I haven't watched them yet. Toxic Shark. Don't have any views on that one. It's got to be fantastic. And then Nightmare Shark. I haven't seen that one yet. I'm sure it's marvelous. Like I do want to watch these, but I have so many other movies on my plate. Um, okay, I guess I'll get on to this Sharknado. This is like bottom of the barrel right here. Uh, they're fun movies. My mother-in-law always gets them for me for my birthday or Christmas because she knows I'm into shark movies. So I'm glad to have them. They're really super corny, over the top. Um, sharks in tornadoes nothing about these makes sense it sort of takes itself seriously but there's so much humor and it's just so corny it's got uh, what's his name eon Ziering and uh, tara reed and then i have the second one sharknado 2 the second one <laughs> uh, uh same leading actors it's got vivica a fox in there uh, what, who else? Uh, I've seen all of these, but man, I don't know. And then Shark Attack, uh, or Sharknado 3. Oh, hell no. And this one's really up in the ante with all of these celebrity cameos. Like it's got, I see, uh, Bo Derek, uh, David, ha <laughs> David Hasselhoff, I see, um, uh, Chris Jericho, I see, what's his name, Jerry, the, the talk show guy, Jerry, Jerry, uh, Jerry Springer, uh, Lou Ferrigno, I see all kinds of celebrity, uh, I think that's uh, Lorenzo Lamas, all kinds of celebrity cameos, and then, oh my goodness, a shark octopus, half shark, half octopus, all killer, Really corny uh, CGI. It's actually pretty good CGI, but corny as heck. It's got Eric Roberts. He's one of my favorites. Um, yeah, this one was sort of enjoyable. And then, oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, Sharks in Venice. First time I saw this, I didn't care about it because it was more about a, like an action movie when the sharks sort of took back seat. It's about like treasure hidden underneath Venice somewhere underneath the, the water canals. And uh, what's his name is in here. He's the hero. Um, one of the Baldwins. Is it Stephen Baldwin? He goes on an adventure and he runs into these criminals. And it sort of reminds me of like a really low budget James Bond movie. But it has nice, nice scenery, nice setting. And there's sharks swimming around in Venice to guard this treasure or whatever it is. And they're eating people. Um, anyway, there's that. And then the, this versus series, uh, shark, shark versus octopus, or uh, mega shark versus giant octopus, and I just like this one because it has Lorenzo Llamas in it. <laughs> uh, and then shark, I'll get to the two-headed shark attacks later. This has a uh, um, two-headed shark. Um, Mega Shark vs. Crocosaurus. I remember I enjoyed that one when I watched it. It has uh, Steve Urkel is in it. Um, what's his name? Uh, Jaleel White. He's the star. He's he's pretty good in it. You usually expect him to be a little corny guy, but he's kind of good in that as the hero. And then uh, Shark Island. And I, I know I've seen one called Shark Week that's this exact same plot. It's like uh, surviving the game on an island with sharks. Like these people have to survive um, and, and I don't know if this is the same movie there's one I watched called a shark week I don't know if shark island is that same movie but it's a, anyway but here's another oh and then here's mecha shark or mega shark versus mecha shark um really super corny as heck uh, I really don't remember much about this one but then here's a Here's a, a single copy of a uh, uh, two-headed shark attack, and that's got uh, Carmen Electra is in here. A lot of hot women in here in bikinis, and uh, Brooke Hogan, 
and Charlie O'Connell. I think that's the other O'Connell's brother. What's his name? Uh, I can't think of his name right now. Uh, guy that was in Piranha. Um, and then here's Three Headed, which I have not watched yet. And it's got uh, Danny Trejo's in there. And Rob Van Dam, the wrestler, is in it. I haven't watched that one yet. Good guy, did I just finish with that crappy movie? Okay, yeah, I guess I went from, from best to worst. And then I have some doubles here. I don't know if anyone's interested. Uh, this is a great compilation of shark, the best crappy shark movies. And then uh, Shark Attack in the Mediterranean, one of my favorites. I got doubles of those. Anyway, there's my shark collection. Oh, that took a half hour too, gosh darn it. Okay, later guys, thank you.